What's up guys? Hope everybody's well. Just sitting in traffic here as usual, so I'm working on another video right now of some repairs I did today. I gotta finish up tomorrow. I got that coming for you guys as well. But I was sitting here thinking since winter is coming, winter is here for some of us, whatever, I figured maybe I'd um you know give you guys a winter checklist, um, especially for guys that you know are new to the trade. Maybe it's your first winter, maybe you moved to a part of the country or something where um you know that you now have winter where you didn't before so figured I'd just run down a few things for you guys to have prepare for get get for yourself if you need it and just a couple um, things to keep in mind the first is obviously snow careful driving whatever but be careful on the roofs guys a lot of stuff gets buried on the roofs gas pipes solar panels anything especially around here i mean we can have winters with a couple feet of snow on the roof everything's everything's buried and there's ice under them you know very slippery and get hurt easy but the biggest thing you got to watch out for if they're not marked or don't have a cage around them is skylights guys skylights in the roof they can they can get buried easy and i've heard stories of guys going right through them and not good winding up dead okay so Always try to be careful for that stuff, guys. Watch the edge of the roof. Sometimes it's harder to see with the snow. It's it's just the, the winter's a whole different ball game, especially if you're up there at night in the middle of a middle of a storm. You know, always make sure. I mean, most of this is obvious, but I just want to make sure for some younger guys if you don't know. But you know, have the right clothing, guys. Don't go to work in like a t-shirt. You know, layer up. Have good boots, preferably waterproof, with good traction. You know, I wear different boots for the winter. I wear big, heavier, logger boots with nice traction on the soles and all that stuff to stay warm. Make sure you got hats, gloves, if you need the coveralls. I, I don't like the whole suit. I prefer the overalls myself, the insulated overalls. And then, you know, you can put your jacket on over that or take it off or whatever. You know, um, just... Other things with your tools, your you know your electronics, your meters, your digital gauges, your your batteries, your flashlights. You get in the cold, the batteries are gonna go quicker, guys. Maybe keep some up front with you to keep them warmer. You know, make sure you always got charged batteries, stuff like that, because it's, it's gonna run out quicker. Make sure you have a good meter too. I've had meters in the past, old cheaper ones. When it's cold, you turn them on, the screen won't even come on. So you gotta have ones that can withstand a good one. You know, flukes, field piece. UEI stuff like that no junk you know you gotta have good ones um, let's see what else uh, you're gonna be running into also this is when you get it I'm talking refrigeration wise now you gotta know how your headmasters work your fan cycle controls things like that it, you can have just as many head pressure problems as you can in the winter as you can in the summer Okay, except it's going to be opposite. In the winter, you're not going to have enough head pressure for these things to work right. So you got to make sure the headmasters work right, your fan cycle controls are set, things are cycling, all that stuff. Um, also, guys, like about back to staying warm. If it's really bad, cold, like bad, like below zero, especially with the wind chill, we get days like that sometimes, and they're brutal. Okay, you know, you don't have to be a hero, like, you know, like, I'll be going on a roof for 10, 15 minutes at a time. If it gets too cold, I'll go back in, warm up, back out. I mean, it makes a longer process, but you're also not going to freeze to death either. Um, and that's why I say always have warm clothes, you know. Make sure even, you know, the crankcase heaters are working on all your compressors. You know, you can damage the compressors with those cold startups and the cold oil or liquid slugging back even worse when it's cold can damage those, you know. Also, just just like I'm saying, it's it's it, with the cold. It's 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 more the wind than it is anything. The cold isn't even that bad. It's the wind chill that gets you and stuff. Exposed skin can freeze quick, and you can get frostbite from it. You know, so just be prepared for that because you never know when something's going to happen. I'll I'll just end this with a quick story. I don't even know how many years ago it was. Maybe like 10, 12 years ago. I was out on a call. It, it wasn't night. It was like I don't know. 5 30 6 o'clock but you all know in the winter it's dark at like 4 30 so I was up on this roof working on a unit wicked windy out it was brutal it was freezing the windshield was like I don't know minus I don't know 
uh, minus 15, minus 20. It was one of those days. It was bad. One of those days if you spit, you spit on the ground. It froze before it like, even hit the ground. Like it was that bad. So I'm up there working on the unit. Now you had my ladder strapped into the side of the roof. And the wind was so bad, believe it or not, it blew my ladder over. And no one was around. I'm like, oh my God. So I had to call my office or whatever. I was stuck up on that roof for like two hours. Like freezing. Luckily enough, I had all my gear on and I was ready and I went over you know I just went by an RTU where the heat was running and huddled up next to that thing and by the exhaust where the warm air was coming out to stay warm but that's what I just want to say you never know anything can happen in this trade guys you know and uh, the same thing with ladders too be careful when you're setting them up make sure they're not on ice if they are get sand salt go to a spot where there's not ice if there is ice back your van the bumper of your van or your tie up right up to the edge of that ladder so it will not kick out on you. I've seen it happen. So just always be careful, guys. Ladders are like one of the biggest things we deal with that cause a ton of injuries. Many, many, many people hurt from the ladders. But um, if you guys think of anything else that I've forgotten or any other winter tips, um, feel free to mention them in the comments, guys. Again, I'm appreciating everything, all the support, all the new subscribers. Thank you guys, I appreciate you all. And um, I got another video coming out, hopefully, maybe in a day or two later this week. I gotta finish that job tomorrow and see how it goes. But other than that, guys, thanks again. I'll catch you boys in the next one. Well, I thought of a couple uh, more other things, guys, to add just real quick. Uh, you know, make sure you get jumper cables in your truck. You never know if your battery's going bad in your truck. And, you're gonna need to get jumping get stuck in the middle of nowhere on the side of the highway I should really practice what I preach because I don't even have jumper cables in here or one of those portable kits you charge up and you can you know jump <clears throat> jump your truck yourself or whatever and even once even after we have big snowstorms I know I do I throw a shovel in the back of my truck because Sometimes you got to shovel your way across the roof to get to something or a unit. I've had units completely buried in snow, like God. You couldn't even see with snow drifts all over them. I mean, we had one bad winter that just the snow on the roof was up to our waist. Trying to trudge through that and then we had snow drifts going up the sides of the roofs, the upper roofs that were like 12 feet high. I had a rack system once, basically buried. and say it was unbelievable. So, you, you never know when you're going to have to shovel something out either. So, it's always good to... Have a shovel in your truck there too, guys. All right, and also sunglasses. Same thing as in the summer. I mean, if it's sunny out and there's snow on those roofs, it's like snow blind, they call it. It's bright, man, it's very bright. So just stuff like that too. And is that anything else you guys wanna add? Add them to the comments so everyone else can see. Again, guys, thank you for everything. Like, comment, and subscribe. See you on the next one, boys. Oh man, I'm never gonna finish this thing. I thought of a couple more things, guys. Also, protect your face. I mean, I got the beard, the beard's nice, it helps, you know, but you know, you got guys that like to wear the masks, you know, covers your nose, keeps that warm, and, and your cheeks, like uh, like my boy HVAC R dude out in Chicago, my boy Dennis. What's up, brother? If you guys haven't checked out him, check out his channel. It's HVAC R dude, excellent tech, great channel, great guy. Um, also, make sure your heat tapes are always working, especially when the drains go outside of the building. Those will freeze up, <clears throat> you know, and then cause your drain to clog up, freeze inside, maybe break the pipe, burst the pipe. I mean, I mean, any, you know, with your lines, with any water lines, make sure those are insulated or somewhat warm. Many, many pipes are going to burst. I mean, make sure... I don't do much chiller work, but we do some closed loop like glycol systems and stuff. Make sure your glycol levels are good, guys. They're, they're set to whatever temperature you guys set them at. We usually have ours around minus 10, minus 15. You know, I've had those freeze up when the level hasn't been right, and it turns into an absolute nightmare. Or you, know, you got a pipe that bursts, and it's just, it's just not fun. So just a couple more things to add like that, guys. I think this will be the end now. Sorry for the background here. I know it's dark out. Try to get some lighting coming in from the back here. But again, boys, thanks for sticking to the end. I'll catch you later, everybody.